Hey guys, it's Dream from Illustrator How. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to make a star in Illustrator. You can use the existing shape tool, the star tool, to make a star. And then you can also use Illustrator effects to create stars or sparkles. If that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching this video. All right, guys, so let me show you how to make a star in Illustrator. The easiest way is using the star tool, which you can find on the toolbar. It's on the same menu as a rectangle tool, and yeah. You can see the star tool here. You can simply select the star tool, click and drag on your artboard to create a star. If you want to create a straight star, you can hold the shift key and click and drag. And if you want to make a perfect star, hold the option or alt on Windows as well. And you can see it's going to be like a perfect star. Just release the mouth and there you go. That's it. You can change the color to the star color, whatever you want, get rid of the stroke. Yeah, so that's super easy. There's another trick about the star tool that I want to show you. Um, okay, so let's select the star tool again. Yeah, there's no keyboard shortcut for it, so select it from the toolbar. Click and drag again to create a star. Just don't release the mouse yet. Um, if you click the up arrow, it's going to add more corners of the star. And if you hit the down arrow, it's going to remove the corner of the star. So at the end, you can also create a star like this or even a triangle with the star tool. And then you can also click on the artboard and it's going to show the options of radius one, radius two. And here you can choose how many points you want. So a normal star, I mean the standard one, it has five points. If you can just put five, click OK. If you want to adjust the radius 1 and radius 2, you can input the value. If you don't know what it means, I do have an article, a step-by-step -step guide talking about how to make a star and I explain it here in the notes. Radius 1 is a circle around the star point, which you can see here. This is radius 1, the circle. And then radius 2 is a circle of the inner core of the star, which is uh, attaching these um, inner corner points of the star. Yeah, so if you're interested to learn more about it, you can find this article or this step-by-step -step guide in the description below. So now let's go back here. Um, ah, I'm going to leave it as it is. So that's how the star tool works. Then I'm going to show you another really fun way to make stars and you can make like a sparkling shape as well, like a sparkle or stars, like a twinkle star or something like that. You can make it from a circle or a rectangle. So I'm going to select the ellipse tool to make a circle for now. And then I'm going to create a square as well. Then I'm going to show you both how it works. Since I'm going to apply the same effect, so I'm going to select both together. Select both and go to the effect menu and choose distort and transform and choose uh, poker and bloat. Then you will be moving the slider to the left side. Make sure you have the preview option checked so you can see how it looks as you adjust the shape. So if you just move it to the left, you can see it's already kind of uh, creating stars already. So the circle create a star that's more cute. And then if you have a rectangle, it makes the shape a little bit sharper. Yeah, so that's what I mean. You can make it as thin as you want. Yeah, that's like a sparkle already. And yeah, just click OK and that's it. You can rotate it. Duplicate a few to see how it looks. Alright, so that's it. Hope you find this video helpful. If you do find this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumb up and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you want to learn more about Illustrator basics or how to create basic shapes into more advanced stuff, I do have a beginner's course where you can find everything from Illustrator tools and basics to advanced stuff like creating logos, typography, and I also have some portfolio tips at the end of the course. If that sounds interesting to you, you can find the link to my course in the description below. So, okay, see you next time.